is the Big O Show. Oh yeah, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend that is Omar Kelly. Although I saw you tweeting there, that your standard answer is you believe in Tua. You haven't done that here. You're you're off that bandwagon. You cannot believe in Tua. You're off that bandwagon. If you say so. I I I believe in Tua. I've always believed in Tua. Um, there are areas and issues that he's got to address from velocity, leadership, work ethic. But if he takes care of those, learns the offense quickly. Are you, all- are you seriously questioning his work ethic? Did you I, really I just to, say that? I I have to based on things that I've heard. So on the on the mis on the misinformation you heard. Listen, I have to based on things that I've heard. And Brian Flores? What about Brian Flores? He told you that uh, he has no I didn't say on. I didn't say that. I don't have to get my information from Brian Flores. Brian Flores isn't feeding me information. I don't know cuz he's your buddy. I, I saw I saw you guys smoking the peace pipe there on I am athlete. R- listen, I saw you passing it over him. Here you go. And he it, was like, you know, every everybody knows I, I don't work like that. Listen, this is this is something I've heard and goes back to last season. Um, and don't want to believe it, but if you hear something enough times, uh, you got to you got to give it some credence. You got to give it some credibility. And I I I believe he's working. I don't believe you have to be a film guy in the building for 12 hours a day to be a successful quarterback. Um, but you know, How, how's a guy that gets busted up with a hip in November and is ready by, by this beginning of the season, lack work ethic. I, I'm, I'm talking that to about, me sounds, I'm, sounds I'm talking, about the I'm most ridiculous to, thing in the world. I'm, I'm referring to preparation for games. The guy played for Nick Saban. There's no way Listen, he can be lazy, bro. I, I, There's I, no I way. I didn't say that he was lazy. I said that it's a concern and. Well, if you say he doesn't have work ethic or it's a concern, then there's laziness tied to that. No, that's, there's not. That's the, there's, there's not that's the only concern of, about work ethic, my brother. Uh, it's I, either either you have it or you don't, right? Not concerned about laziness. I I know he works. I know he's committed. I know he's competitive. There's there's just concerns about his commitment, and maybe maybe that was different because it was a different coaching staff. Or, you know, listen. I I I I am interested in seeing how he operates this year. When that guy lives, eats, and breathes football and family, and and, and that's all. And that guy, that, that's one he's of the not, things. He's not hoeing around. He's not on South Beach. He's not in casinos. He's not caught gambling. He's on, he's on he's the not, golf course, dude. There's nothing in that guy's life except football and family. That's all I and ever golf. hear from Tua. And golf. And golf. Nothing wrong with that. It's called hand-eye coordination. Do as many do as many athletic things as possible that sharpen your hand-eye coordination. I have no problem with that, dude. Okay, if you want to play it, golf, listen. the bet the best the best athletes that aren't golfers are usually quarterbacks that play golf. You know okay. what I mean? It's just uh, listen. Right? I I don't I don't have any I don't have any. Firsthand, I know this because I've seen this. I know others have, um, but it's a question. It's a concern. You asked me what what are my concerns. I told you what my concerns are, and this no, is I, not I, based yeah, I on. Just I, I I just don't see how that could ever be a concern. With that okay, kid. and and ask around. Johnny Menzel. Okay, I get it. Ask you around. know, there are certain guys that are, I have asked around. I, I I have not heard a lack of work ethic at all. I've never heard that about him. You know what I mean? I, I, I've heard the guys that are worried about, you know, the size and the arm and all that other stuff. And, and obviously, you have to give him time to heal. And I think a lot of people are watching it now on video. I saw what Nick did showing the progression of his throws from one year to another and how his body obviously is getting more flexibility out of that hip. And, but we, of course you have to give him time to heal. Absolutely. The man got injured in November and was ready 
to be slammed by Michael Brockers in September. I, I mean, I, I was of the opinion that he shouldn't have played this whole rookie season. I, that, that was my opinion from I, the get I'm, 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 I, In hindsight, I'm glad that he did because it speeds up the process, speeds up development, speeds up the evaluation. But um, there's still work to be done. He's still quarterback number 19. We need him to be quarterback number 12 at least. Oh, he'll that, be that easy this year. I'm not worried about that. Once he has the help that he needs, see, that's see that's why you're not on the bandwagon. You see, I, I, that's I, I why you're not on the bandwagon. Not, not you, you didn't believe on the bandwagon. That, that face there, you didn't believe. You didn't believe. Not, not it. I not believe it. you don't. If, if, if being an unapologetic um, excuse maker is – no, it's not, not a matter of, is is a requirement for being on the bandwagon. I have no desire to be on it. it it's 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 not a matter of being a, a, you see that's the problem that you look at it as your it's an excuse. Uh, listen, do facts. me a favor. Do These me a favor. Facts. You got you got Joe Shad on, you got Alan Poupard on. Yes. Who else you got? Who else you got in Dolph? You got Cameron Wolf on and ask Marcel them, at Marcel. Ask them this direct questions. Yes. Have you heard concerns about Tua's work ethic? I and, watch, and watch I them tap dance. I it's all right. I, I, I'm fine. But remember, I'm the guy that told all of you he's running roughshod through the building, and none of you had heard about it. Listen, okay. Okay. So, I didn't right? say. I didn't say. So it's not like I don't know what's going on in that building. I know what's going on in that building sometimes. You know what I mean? I, mean, I can't tell you I know everything. Yeah. But I do know sometimes what the hell is going it, it, on. In that it, is, it, is, uh, it is alarming, a little bit troubling, a little bit disturbing, and understand that while I'm not a Tua non-member, I am a Tua guy. I, I'm a believer in Tua. I'm an advocate for Tua. Um, I'm a supporter of Tua. One of the few left in the media. But it's a little bit troubling, disturbing, uncomfortable when you hear criticisms on warrant on un, unsolicited un, un criticisms about him from former coaches current teammates and the current teammates I've heard forever there there are guys he still has to win over and I assume and feel like part of the issue he's having and has always had is because he stole a team unintentionally from Fitz. And if you know anything about Fitz, and I've talked about this on the I Am Athlete podcast with people who have played. By the way, he, he didn't steal anything. The coaches made the call. They gave it him. to him. But in the player's mind, he stole Fitz's team. Now. Uh, well, look, 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 listen, a player comes to me and says that. The difference between you and me, I would have told that player, don't be silly, dude. The coach made the call. It has nothing to do with him. It, they want to play. It, it, they were play. Mind, where, and and by the way, I would tell that player, don't you know that they were playing their politics behind the scenes with Flores? I mean, and, have you not figured that out also? Player, when, when you A, have, B, when you whoever have to you bring are. And fits into the game twice to save the game. And they know and feel that Fitz is the better starter. And this is the team. This is not this is not don't opinion. get pissed at the coach. Don't get pissed at the exactly, player. Exactly. But here's here you listen to me. Give give me one minute and listen to me. I got you. When when you're a player and you see that dynamic, you understand it, but you see that and then you see the grizzled veteran who's Mr. Popularity in the NFL and Mr. Popularity with every team he's ever been on Yes. In terms of teammates, still would put his. You ask any teammate of Fitz, name me your top five teammates. I promise you, he's gonna be on everybody's list. Yes, it's yes. just and, and, and in the end, he'll let you down because you'll yes, never get you're to the correct. playoffs and yes. you never do anything. But so every, I don't know what the love affair is all about. But you didn't ahead. give me my minute. Go Everybody ahead. loves Fitz, and Fitz is viewed as a very good leader. And when you as a player, I think uh, I'm explaining to you why I think that he's having this issue with former players, guys a little bit more established. When you watch Fitz have the team taken from him and handed to Tua, and then you realize or you understand or you have in your thought process that 
Fitz is the better quarterback, the better leader. I get it. It, it creates a level of resentment and comp and and it's it's like you're you you love your mom, but now you're you're you've got to love your stepmom. It's not your mom, and you. you love Fitz, but now you're supposed to you're told to love your your stepmom, and there there's this like this comfort that then the Deshaun Watson thing didn't help. Then the coaches not liking him didn't help. Same guy. Same guy that stirred the entire disruptive drink is gone. Yeah. But all of that. That's my point, dude. But, it's but not Tua. Teammates... It's Flo. Okay. It's not Deshaun Watson. It's Flo. Oh, trust me. It was Deshaun and... Watson. It was Deshaun no, Watson. Say it's all Flo. His teammates comes, wanted Deshaun comes... Watson. That's fine. And the, and then the coach ends up stirring and creating that problem because from the get-go, he didn't want to. He didn't so want to from be the get-go, he was going to be disruptive about how he brought Tua along because no coach in their right minds starts Tua against the Rams. Damn. That's a goddamn theory right there. No, you no, said, that's a fact. You said he started him against the Rams to sabotage him? Of course, dude. Wow. Of course. And, 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 if, and, and you just answered your own question before. Wow. If Fitz is playing well, <laughs> why would you bench him? Uh, uh, bro. That like, creates problems. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like in tears how earth-shattering that conspiracy theory is. Like... Not oh, to but say, dude, but, but dude, you didn't even know this. You didn't even know he didn't want him. Not you didn't, to you say, didn't even really, you didn't. Most of you guys did not want to believe me when I told you he never wanted him. Not to say that I disagree with you, but like that's like an earth shattering, even conspiracy theory. I dude. not to say that I disagree with you because. I Omar, the Omar Rams, we, we normally we, pull the young guy off the bench against a bullshit team, bro, to start him off. It, you it, you start him against the worst team possible so you can build confidence. You don't put him up against the best front seven in football so they can smash his hip again. I mean, it's just... But if hmm. Fitz had won that game, it would have been hard to take the team from Fitz. If Fitz won that game, then the coach was doing his job, bro. But coach, he's his not mind, doing he's his job by that. putting an inexperienced rookie behind a line that can't block and can't run in front of the best front seven in he football. He still won the game. Yeah, still... Tua. Yes, he still <laughs> won the game. With... And that's the other thing. Tell your player. No, that oh, by the way, he that got a winning record with game. Tua. That so defense won that Rams game. Okay, fine. That, that I mean, Flo, Flo had Sean McVay stressing, acknowledging that he got thoroughly outcoached. Listen, I'm not discrediting your conspiracy theory. Because, I, you know, I'm a big believer in conspiracy theories. Well, it's not so much conspiracy. I just think he's a flat-out asshole that hated the kids so much that he actually freaking went against the kids I don't for think, anything, bro. I don't think the hate was always pre the dislike. Let's not put hate on it. Okay, right. Yes. I don't, think, I don't think the dislike disbelieve, was whatever always the hell, present. whatever adjective you want to use. Yeah. Bro. I right. don't believe the dislike was always present. So, I mean, and I think that he did things to try to help the young man succeed, hiring his seven on seven QB coach. Um, you know, giving putting Chad O'Shea in, in in charge of the passing game. I think he did things, you know, in, basically making the RPO his base offense. He did things to help the young man succeed. I just don't know if those were the right things for the organization and the right things for Flores. That that's water under the bridge. You're you were right. He didn't want him. I he. Probably he doesn't believe in him. No, he's never believed in him. Never believed in the guy. I, I don't know if he never believed in him. He doesn't believe in him. And despite the fact that Tua Flores has a winning record with Tua and doesn't have a winning record with anybody else. And 
Did you tell that player that? It's multiple players, bro. It's it's not. Did it's you not, tell multiple players that? I I I've told them all the time. I believe in Tua, and their response is, you know what their response is? He doesn't have the arm. He'll he'll he's not gonna win us games on his own, and I don't. And then I'll sit there and I can list off the games that he won or put you in position to win. And their response is, he doesn't have the arm. And I'll be like, there's nothing I can say to that. There, there's literally nothing I can say to that. Like, so we'll see. We shall see. And that's what this season is about. And if it doesn't pan out, Brady will be the quarterback in 2023. Garoppolo will be the quarterback in 2023. And we'll move on. Yeah, uh, I don't know about Garoppolo, God. Come on. I like, Garopp I like Garoppolo. I've always been a Garoppolo guy, but I, I think I'm wrong. He just can't stay healthy, and he can't make the big throw in the key moment, bro. It's just we'll like, see. It's, we'll see. He's in a contract two year. Things, two things that I've really like. He like, took a team He took a team to the Super Bowl, and he took them to the doorstep of the Super Bowl last year. No, I know. I know. I know I, he can I'm pass, but fan. he has those two hurdles. Yeah. I'm a Jimmy G fan, hurts. so I, I and and I ride I ride with the people that I roll with. Now, do I? Think I I'm Jimmy a Jimmy G fan too, but my pro I have to see. Unlike you, I take the L when the L is there, and that, there's no say, L on Jimmy G. Hold on, hold he's up, had hold he's up. had he's had more than enough time to prove himself to stay he's healthy or to make the big throw, Bowl. and he had the guy wide open. For the win, and he overthrew. He him, was man. one win away from taking him to the bowl again. I, I, dude, listen. You know, close only counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. You got to get it done when you have the opportunity. That's the problem with him. I mean, I, I got to listen. You're not willing to take the L. I get it, but I am. I'm not. I have to say that after all somebody, these years, somebody's gonna make him another hundred million dollar quarterback. No, I doubt that. Bro. Oh, he, can't stay, bro. he can't stay healthy, bro. He will not be able to. You get think that. when Jimmy G hits the market as an unrestricted free agent in 2023, he's not getting a hundred million dollar quarter nope. contract? Nope. He's not trusted. All right. You trust, you trust him more than most. All right. And I don't I don't think most trust we him. We shall see. You see, you make see that you, throw. You see it, what the quarterback thirsty teams are, are doing out here, right? Well, Omar, if they were willing to give him a hundred, they would have traded for him already. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. That's so, fair. Nobody, but, is, but, nobody that's but, but worth a hundred million dollars. Here's the AJ thing. Brown was worth now when you AJ Brown was worth a hundred million dollars and they traded for him, right? Why trade it, for him now when you can get him for nothing next year? Because he's not worth a hundred million. That's why I'm trying to tell. You. I'm telling you, <laughs> what I'm telling you is you could go get him for nothing next year. Why trade for him now? There, there, there are about eight teams at and in if he NFC was a hundred million dollar quarterback, that means he's franchised. That means he can take you to the Super Bowl and win it. Teams would have been lined up and traded for him. Already. Ryan Tannehill is a hundred million dollar quarterback. Yeah, that's again. You just, I, I just threw up. Kirk Cousins is too. Team. So what? I just destroyed that doesn't mean anything to Kirk me. Kirk Cousins is a hundred million dollar quarterback. Kirk Cousins is the highest paid quarterback in the league. I mean, mistakes are made. What can I tell you, bro? Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't want Kirk Cousins hey, as my quarterback. Carson so, Wentz you know. is a hundred million dollar quarterback. Who? Carson Wentz. Again, you know. Mistakes uh, are made. Yeah. You know. No. <laughs> Listen, bro. You ain't gotta. Be, you ain't gotta be elite. You ain't gotta be elite to be a hundred million dollar quarterback. I, I know that, but if you're gonna tell me a hundred million, I'm gonna tell you, okay, I need, you know. Mahomes and Brady, and I need like Russell Wilson. If I'm going to spend a hundred million, I want the guy. I don't okay. want a hundred million and get a Jag. That doesn't do me any good. All they got is Jags out here, bro. You know what I mean? That's all, uh, all that's they got the is Jags. Eight all right. first line quarterback. The rest are Jags. Did you like anything in the draft outside of the linebacker? Because everybody loves Tyndall. Um, I would imagine, right? You 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 do like Tyndall, right? I I, I yes, I, come on. Okay. Uh, I, um, just want to make sure. I I just don't know if he's going to be able to beat out Landon Roberts in year one. I think he's going to be a role player because Alandon is Alandon's the the the, the the captain of the defense. And yeah, but I think on first and second he might be able to uh, as a, in the second half of the uh, of the year if he's smart enough. Yes. If he, if he was making the calls at Georgia. 
So was that tell yeah, that tells me, yeah, he made some calls at Georgia. Not the all the call time. Or the call. No, because no, no, he wasn't full time. So he I, couldn't make I them would all the time. Dean was making the calls. Yeah, yeah. He makes the calls. But I think at times he was there, he could make calls too. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I, I I'd need to I'd need to talk to him and, and see him operate and work before I can prognosticate. Um if I'd he like can if he can do that, if that's true that he was able also to make calls when Dean wasn't doing it, then then he has then he has that too. Then that tells me he might be able to transition the second half of the season. I, I gotta on know how first and Dean. second downs, short yardage and all that. Yeah, I think, the, the, the the third third I think he's on the field as a third down guy. I think he's on the field as a third down guy. Um, only competition is Duke Riley, but you know, he, first and second downs. I'm I'm looking for an, a three down every every down linebacker. Um, he'll be there eventually. What, I think you asked me what I liked. I like the Chris Greer BPA approach. I do. I oh, I've always done so. Um, it, it's it's what leads to a healthy roster. Did he reach on the center? No. Did he address the center? No. But say la B right now, they're the only team in the NFL without a backup center. So that means every free agent should be lining up to try to get here. Well, one one of the guys is a center. Um, uh, what's it called? Ty Clary played center too. Undrafted free game. agents, bro. I, yeah. I, I, but well, undrafted free agents and sixth and seventh rounders are the same thing. There's really I, I, I agree with you, but I'm not I'm like you can I'm still not, find a guy. I'm saying I, I'm right. not I'm not I'm not interested in telling you that that guy's your answer. Like no no I, Dolphins, all I all, all I said is he played center. I didn't you know how many you, you know how many center. centers the Dolphins played last year? Four, I believe. Four. Four. Yeah. Four. How many do you have in your roster right now? Uno. Two. Clary is the other one. Okay. He played center. What do you want me to tell you? I'm okay. not telling you he's the answer. I I'm just said he played N center. I'm, I'm referring to NFL players. But but they probably draft or they probably signed him because he played center is what I'm saying. I'm he's referring to NFL center. players. I got not, you. Not, not like wannabes. So what, what's what's the word with J.C. Trotter? What is it? Money oh. and knees? What the hell is the deal? I, it's got to be age. You know how you know how this league gets when you're a nine year up and up veteran. They 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 act like you're in. You need to be put in the senior citizen home. We'll see. We'll see. I I don't think they want to. I think they really want to give Dieter every opportunity to succeed. Well, there's been total overreaction on Dieter by everybody. I think Poupart nailed it. He had the line of the last week and a half here. Everybody keeps treating Dieter like Austin Jackson and Eichenberg when he never played that bad. In fact, Hunt was a better guy. Then it was Dieter. Dieter wasn't that – Dieter wasn't getting beat like Jackson and Eichenberg and Jesse Davis. Yeah, he made his mistakes. Dieter played eight he games. Wasn't. Dieter huh? played eight games and wasn't – Okay, but the games he played, he wasn't terrible what, what, like those what, what, guys. Okay, if I got so maybe fight, he I, might be better know, with these guys. You know, Big O, you're on radio. You do your podcast. And you're not doing a terrible show. You're you're not doing a terrible show. Great compliment, right? Like I, that's, that's I don't want to do much, that's I don't want to do life. business. I don't want to do business. That's what my wife says about me too. You're not a terrible husband. It's kind of you're not you're not a terrible lover. That, like, that too. No, if, she actually says I'm a terrible lover. No, that's, I, that's I'm right. just saying if if you if you want to tell me you want to describe me, you know what, Omar? You're not a terrible journalist. You're not a terrible columnist. I'm no, like, but, but uh, what I'm saying is he was all right. He wasn't he, okay. terrible like, you know, like, like Eichenberg and you know Jackson and Jesse Davis were terrible. You know what, Big O? You're, Peter a, wasn't. you're, you're an all right lover. You're an all right radio Well, host. that's an improvement. <laughs> you're, it's an improvement listen, now. you're an all right day trader. Like, I'm not doing business with you, bro. No, like, I got you. I got like, you. But, like, you know, but again, under this coaching staff, I, it's hard for anyone to excel. All right, and it's I'm not fair up. that I talked about this today. It's not fair to judge most of these guys on offense because of of the people that were handling the offense. All right, now is when we get a chance to really judge. That's fair. Even, That's fair. Even Austin Jackson and Eichenberg. Which, I got by the way, I am nowhere near giving up on Eichenberg because no, there's I no way. Be the dude, every NFL guy I talked to loved Eichenberg. I there's think no way the they're center. all wrong. I think he should be the center. 
But here, here's 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 what here's what I have a problem with. And this is this is a very small minor criticism. If you're Chris Greer and you say we want competition at every position, mm -hmm. tell me where there is no competition. There's one area, one spot where there's no competition. Center. Center. Yeah. Fix it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and you can fix it a, a week or two before camp, and that's fine. Well, there's that's no right. comp there's no competition at left tackle. Uh, no, you, no, 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 no. no, no. Okay, there's but you no, got backups. No, 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 no. The, don't don't trump me again. Don't change the conversation. There's no competition at left tackle. No competition at X receiver either. What you and want? There, what you and, want? No what you want and no and no competition at quarterback. And no competition oh, at, and no oh, competition oh, at no, free no, safety. No, no. no. There won't be a competition allowed. I do believe there's competition. Oh, please. There's, see, that's why you're not on the bandwagon. I can't be That's on the why you're not a believer. I can't Once be on again, the another example. Listen, if I have ah. to be an un unapologetic apologist. I no, don't want to be on a bad no, way. These are facts. They're not. They're not. They're not apologies. They're Tua not gets hurt for a month. Facts. Tua gets hurt for a month. He might never see the starting spot again. Oh please, give me a break. Again, what has Teddy Bridgewater accomplished? Thank you very much. More for than playing. Ten, more than. More what than, has Fitz more, accomplished? That's more what you gotta, than that, that, Tua when you have that player all. tell you about Fitz, you turn to him and say, uh, "Excuse me, what has Fitz won?" Thanks for playing. Okay. Listen, Teddy Bridgewater has never done anything. In I the believe he was the eighth highest rated quarterback in the NFL last year. If Tua Tonga by the eighth highest rated nowhere. quarterback in the NFL this upcoming season, they will throw a parade for him in Miami Gardens. I don't care about stats. You get in love with that. Tanny Hill put up some stats. It don't mean anything to me. When did Tanny Hill put up stats? Wins. He never takes anyone to the playoffs and never does anything in the playoffs. And that's Teddy Bridgewater and that's Ryan Fitzpatrick. And that's Let's Tua Tonga Valor. And that's players who have been in the league for long enough and have had every opportunity that's and fair. never did it. Teddy had a defense, had an offensive line, had a running game, had receivers in Minnesota. And could never do anything because he doesn't have. If you talk about arm and talent and all of that, he has less talent and less of an arm than Tua. That's so fair. I don't understand any of this. So please stop telling me about Fitzpatrick and Teddy Bridgewater, two guys that are nothing more than backups their entire careers. No, That's they've been they starters. Are. They've been starters. When they're starters, that means you have a terrible start. I believe that they've started two, if not three times, the amount of NFL yes, games. Yes, and, and Teddy Bridgewater throwing 15 touchdowns and 14 interceptions, or 15 and 12, really is lighting up the world. Yes, you can go check the stats. I'm pretty damn accurate when he was in Minnesota. And, and by the way, he started five games in, in, uh, in New Orleans, and he threw nine touchdowns. The man can't even throw two touchdowns in a game. In 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 and that's in the Saints offense. Okay? I'm telling you, Teddy Bridgewater has never and ever will be an explosive quarterback. His 18 touchdowns, is, seven interceptions. Where Minnesota or you're talking about Seattle? I'm talking about Denver. I mean, uh, New Orleans. I'm not, I'm not talking about his first two years in the league. If we're gonna hold him to the standard of his first two years in the league. I'm talking about the first, the two years he he's won seven Minnesota. games and lost eleven. Tua, yeah. that is a better record than Tua. Yeah, that, look at the look at the. He doesn't have, dude. Tua would be twenty and five with that team in Minnesota. I don't even remember the team in Minnesota, but oh, okay. listen, okay. I, I let's let's just let's just see how it plays out. Because I, so, I'm not saying Minnesota's anything. had a playoff team the last few years under Spielman. Believe it or not, uh, had the defense. They've had the defense on. They just don't have the quarterback. They have your guy, Kirk Cousins, and they have your guy, Teddy Bridgewater. Those oh, guys don't get wow. you over the top. They, they both into the, I will own Kirk Cousins. I will not own Teddy Bridgewater. And you own Fitz, too. Boy, you I got will a own threesome. Fitz. Listen, That's Fitz your threesome is Mr. there. Fitz is Mr. Popularity, bro. Like, listen. I, I, he can be all popular he wants. He doesn't win jack shit. That's, that's right. the problem. There's no playoffs in there. There's nothing in the resume. 
Tua doesn't win jack shit either. He hasn't been in the league. He's only been in the league two years with crappy shit. Uh, and in the two uh, yeah. years, in the first two years he'd been in the league, Teddy Bridgewater took the team to the playoffs. Yeah, that's right, because he he was in New Orleans. No. Well, give him he that. Was he was in Minnesota. Min Minnesota. That, yes, his first two years in Minnesota, he took a team. Oh, team. yeah, I know. When he threw 14 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. 5 record it with the Saints. Yeah, yeah. Look at, look at his touchdowns and interceptions, buddy. Nine touchdowns, two, intercept, no, uh, two interceptions. No, 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 no. You're talking about that's, that's New Orleans, buddy. Those are the oh, five games in New Orleans. Isn't that what you said, the Saints? Nine yeah, but I uh, know in Minnesota when he had everything. He did nothing in in, in – New Orleans, they went five and one. He threw nine touchdowns in five games. That's garbage, bro. You can't win like that in this league. The defense carried his ass. Not and look hard. at him, Minnesota. Did you look the two years in Minnesota? Look yeah. at his touchdowns, interceptions. What are they? Say 20, that. 28 touchdowns, 21 interceptions. Exactly. In two years. You what's, don't win with that. What's ten hills and I mean, what's two is in two years? It's 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 comparable. What, no, 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 no. It's not comparable because he didn't have the offensive line, the running game, the wide receivers, or the offensive coaches. What it's about the not defense? even close, bro. Okay, All not right. even close. Go look at that Minnesota line he had. Go look at that running game he had, please. All right, come on, dude. That's I'm what I keep saying about Tua. Give him what Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill have in New Orleans. What Teddy had in Minnesota, what Tannehill has in Tennessee, what what uh, Stafford has in the Rams, give him a defense and a running game and a line, and you'll see the rest is history. Uh, that's all I've been asking for for the last two years. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying big... to get on the bandwagon here at the end of the year. No, I don't want to be on the bandwagon. I, 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 that's right. I, see, I, you I, said I, it. You said it. You don't want to be on the bandwagon. I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't need to be on the bandwagon. Doesn't mean I'm not a Tua believer. Doesn't well, mean you're, you're a Tua disbeliever if I've okay. ever seen one. All right. Okay. You and Flo are probably having drinks and you probably have Tua dolls and you're like pinching them and all that. Listen, make sure when all your other guests that cover the Dolphins come on, you ask them if they've heard about Tua's, ask them about Tua's leadership and work ethic. Okay. Ask okay. them what they've heard. I'm going to ask him if they, what they've heard and if they question it like Omar Kelly does. No, don't ask him if they question it. Ask them what they've heard. But you question it. Don't you? Don't Just you question Just ask it? them what they've heard. Don't, don't, don't give them a leading question. Just ask them what they've heard. Me? Lead anybody? No, I would never do anything like that. What, 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 one of your hosts, not even going to out him, was on a golf course with Tua the day of a game. That's yeah. commitment. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Him and Cam shooting up a, a couple around there. It's all good. Listen, it is what it is, bro. It, it, it. I, 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 I want to believe that he's this polished, clean, in you know, quarterback who works hard, is a great leader. Um, that he was at Alabama, committed to the game, committed to football, committed to being the best that he could potentially be. Unfortunately. I have to wonder about that stuff now. And he's got, he's got, those are things he has to silence with a new coaching staff. The hate is real. I got to tell you. Follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly. What are you working on the Sun Sentinel? What's the new hateful, hurtful article you're working on to in the Sun Sentinel? I am doing a deep dive into the Dolphins depth chart kind of, uh, I do this every year at this time, sort of assessing who, how many guys on the training camp roster will easily make it to the 53-man roster to figure out where there are holes. You got Tua making the team? I got Tua starting, of course. Oh, if he okay, can stay no, healthy. Just, I don't know. I'm, I'm reading that article. I'm if, it, listen, if, if he can stay healthy, which is a big if, big concern, you know, big, big mystery there. As I can run the ball and he'll be fine. Damn it. That's all we need. All right. Follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly. Catch his work in South Florida Sun Sentinel. And how about I Am Athlete? When you on again? What else? Uh, Fridays. Fridays. Fridays on I Am Athlete tonight. tonight you're on tonight? Uh, uh, no. It's no. a radio show on Sirius Channel 82. So your um, night is Fridays is what you're saying. Yeah, my day is Fridays. Um, so, and then I don't know if I'm on the next episode 
we work three episodes in advance just to give you the process. Right. I think I'm on like two of them, um, two of the three. So I, we'll, we'll see. Can you tell us the guests? No. <laughs> okay. okay. Absolutely right. not. That's fine. I didn't tell you it was Jordan Love either, so that's it's all good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Follow on Twitter. Listen. Follow on Twitter. <laughs> Mark Kelly. People are, people are like, you know, you should write that. And I'm like, why? For what reason? What, what for, for what purpose? Like, it's like, it's like digging, going to a grave and digging up a body to, to examine it. For what? Like, what's, you know, I, I don't, like, what's, and I don't, I think it's dumb. Like, I'm so, I like Jordan Love too. I'm not selecting him at five. No, yeah, no, that's how I kept, by the way, I, those Dolphins have disappeared because I had a lot of them, like, they wanted him at five. I was like, no, dude, he's a hey, project. You take him and, late and first, second is, rounds. That's where you take projects, bro. The funny thing is, back in that process, I reported what people were telling me, which was that the Dolphins were high on Jordan Love and liked Jordan Love coming out of the Senior Bowl and were considering him as, as a possible selection. My assumption was if Tua's gone, they go Love over Herbert. Um, but to hear that there's a strong possibility, because I'm sure he'll come out a lot and 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 – and tell a different version of the story, if asked. To hear that there's a strong possibility that they would have selected him at five, I'm like, what? Yeah, no, it wouldn't have happened. I'm like, maybe 18. Maybe that's your play. You go. He was the only. He was the only. He was the only guy in the room that wanted him early. He's the only guy. He's the only guy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching that. I'm not interested. We. We. We'll. We'll. we'll I. I. You're. They're married. They're married. No, they're not married to Tua. They're engaged to Tua. I'm not. I'm not bringing up old relationships, because you know, that goes bad when you when my wife does it. So or when I do it. There he is, Omar Kelly. All right, go do your thing. I appreciate you, my brother. We'll catch up later in the week. All right, man. Talk to you. You got it, Omar Kelly, in our EJDConstruction.com Miami Dolphins report. <laughs>